What's going on y'all, it's DG back with another video. Today, I wanted to go through 10 hoop shoe releases, either releasing very soon, have released, or are releasing in the far future. Before I get right into it guys, I want to thank y'all so much for 50,000 subscribers. It's actually insane. I've been really, really committed and working hard to post consistently, either long form and through YouTube shorts, which is basically like reels and TikToks, every single day, scheduling far in advance, you know, getting these content ideas, whether it's a small idea or a big idea, I'm really just trying to be consistent and execute. So thank y'all so much. I did promise that I would give away this pair of LeBron 20s right here. I did buy these from JD Sports a couple of months ago and I never played in them. I'm going to give this away to the winner on the screen right here. I paid around like 215 for these at JD Sports when they first released because they actually released a couple of days early at my store. So I thought it was like exclusive and stuff. So I fell into the hype or whatever and just bought these, but I'd rather just give it away to you guys. I've never played in them. So instead of returning them to the store, I might as well just give it to you guys. I am going to leave the winner on the screen right now and please send me a DM on Instagram. I'm going to be giving away the Jaw One Fuels right here. I also purchased these at JD Sports because my JD gets hoop shoes early and they just leave it out on the floor regardless of the release date. So I just got this pair right here. They costed me retail price. So I paid like 120 with including tax. I'd rather just give it away to you guys. So first release that we're all looking forward to, let's just knock this off the list. This is the reverse Grinches releasing, I believe December 16th. Red's my favorite color. I say that almost every video. I do hope these come with the red laces because every single person that I've seen rock these, either you know early, like they're an influencer, or have early pairs, or even Dennis Smith Jr. has been hooping in these and like pro-ams and things of that nature. They all have the green laces. I hope that they come with the red laces because the original Grinch came with the green and crimson laces. So I do hope that these come with the red laces because I'm not sure, I, I like the all red. I wanna see it with all red and then the tongue, the Mamba logo with the hint of green. I do think these will have resale value obviously, but it just depends in terms of how many pairs that Nike decides to allocate for the US and the entire world. So that will determine the resale market. But these are an automatic cop, Kobe 6, my favorite basketball shoe of all time. They're kind of rough at first, you do have to break them in, but after you do, these are straight fire. So these are an automatic cop for me. Number two, we have the Luka 2 Lake Bled. These should be releasing soon. And the thing about this pair was that it was included in the K54 press release for the Luka 2. So this is one of the first colorways that we've seen, although it's going to release later. I'm going to pass on this colorway. My favorite colorway by far is the Matador. The Matador is absolutely beautiful in person. I think that is the best colorway we might see. And Luca has been playing in that pair this summer. So yeah, the Matadors are just so nice. That, that color, the teal, the gold hints on that shoe. But overall for me, this is going to be a pass. I do think the Matadors are the best colorway, although those have sold out. So if you are looking for an alternative, I do recommend the Luka 2. It is a great supportive shoe. It does have some weight on it, but solid traction. I would say it's comparable to the Luka 1. The cushion is pretty improved in my opinion, but it's not amazing because what's amazing is like full length zoom strobel. So I'm not gonna put on that level, but in the heel especially, it does feel pretty nice. And overall Luka 2, I really liked it. I think it's an improvement from the Luka 1, so I would actually rank it above the Luka 1. Now onto shoes that have already released. So I'm gonna cover two colorways of the same shoe. First one is the Sabrina 1 Ionic. I just purchased a pair and I'm very excited. I can't wait to play in these because all things considered, I feel like these are gonna be like a good performer. They don't really look like they have red flags. I do think that the cushion will be low to the ground. It's the first signature model, but it'll feel adequate and comfortable. These do look like the Jaw Ones. However, I do think these have will have better colorways because the Nike ID addition to the Sabrina One is a game changer, but we still have to play in it. I still have to play in it. I haven't really seen any performance reviews so far, so I'm curious about how other people like the shoe, but I'm very optimistic. 
I will be getting Sabrina One IDs as well. Going to make a Warriors colorway, probably use that pink as well on another K Yao colorway, an Oregon colorway. So I'm very excited for the Sabrina One, but the performance test that I will do will be on this colorway right here. This is the Ionic. Then we have the Sparks. This is the other colorway. I feel like this colorway will look way better in person because I was deciding between the Ionic and the Spark. I chose the Ionic because it just felt cooler to me, like it looked better. But then I saw like high quality HD images on Instagram of the Sparks and they look better, I guess, in, in pictures and in hand. Regardless, Ionic and the Spark colorway both sold out in bigger sizes, so it is pretty tough. They are in high demand, but I do think that Nike will release more Sabrina One colorways that will be more readily available. This reminds me of the LeBron 20 uh, when it first released because it was selling out like super duper fast at first, but then they started making more quantities. So I do think the Sabrina One will fall into that category. This shoe, I'm very, very excited for. It has to be, out of all the shoes I'm gonna go over, this is number two on my most anticipated. Number one, obviously reverse scrunches, like, all of you probably, but this aqua colorway of the 38s, the purple, the blue, the teal, the yellow. Yeah, these are an automatic cop, guys. Automatic, I cannot wait for these. These are going to be a holiday release, I think. They usually release a lot of good Jordan colorways, obviously in the holiday season when people are buying a lot. So yeah, these will be in the collection. I cannot wait. And the performance of the shoe, easily for me personally my personal opinion this was one of the best shoes that i've tested this year so it's definitely going to be top three top five in my end of the year list but i cannot wait for this shoe guys man this is my favorite colorway next to the fibas but the colorways of the 38s are amazing like i really do want every single colorway obviously i can't do that but this colorway for sure is top priority Next up, we have a new Zoom Freak 5 colorway, and this is pretty much a multicolor. I actually really like the Zoom Freak 5, and it makes me sad that not a lot of people like this shoe. And from the feedback that I've seen and observed, it's really the looks and the aesthetics and the swoosh. Do I think it looks like a bowling shoe? Yeah, a little bit, but performance-wise, these are really good, guys. These are very nice. I honestly think this is the best model in the line. I liked it better than the threes. I liked it better than the fours for sure. I really like the fives. The traction is great. It has a Cushlon midsole with zoom as well. And the low top design, I actually really enjoy. And the first colorway, the loyalty colorway, I actually really like. Maybe it's because I like gold on shoes and that gold hit really different but the colorways are actually good on this model. There's also another colorway that I'll put on the screen right now that I really like, has some pink on it, reminds me of the Milwaukee Bucks as well. But the Zoom Freak 5 is easily my favorite shoe in the line of the Giannis line, and the performance is my favorite. So that's my personal opinion. I know it is kind of a different looking shoe because of that swoosh is very huge. I understand why people wouldn't like it aesthetically, but performance wise, I would recommend people to give it a chance at least because in my personal opinion, I actually enjoy playing in the shoe so much so that I rank it above every other shoe in the line. So that's just my personal opinion. Next up, we have the Tatum One Home Team, which I originally thought was a Halloween colorway. I do wish this was the Halloween colorway, although maybe they'll release another Halloween colorway. We do have a Jaw 1 Halloween as well, but this is a very clean Tatum 1 and I like it. Will I get it? I'm not sure. Tatum 1s have been selling out, guys. They've been selling out, especially the colorways that look nice. I know the old schools may be sitting, but the St. Louis's, the, the Pink Lemonades, those sold out. I do expect these to do numbers. I do expect these to sell out or do like a soft sell out where they sell out at first and then they restock and then they do that a bunch of times. But I do like this colorway. The Tatum one is a very fun shoe to play in, extremely light. It is a mid top or mid to low top, but it plays like a low top because of how light it is. But I do think a lot of people enjoy this shoe. It's one of Jordan Brand's best shoes right now. But if I had to rank the Jordan Brand line, 
my personal opinion, I like the Jordan 38. That's the flagship, number one. I like the Luka 2 second, and then I like the Tatum 1's last. The problem with the Tatum 1 is that the durability is not good. So after my performance test, or once I performance tested it, the durability was pretty bad on the Zoo colorway, ripping where the foam was, especially in the forefoot, obviously. So that's my problem with the Tatum 1. The traction was solid, but especially on density courts, I found myself wiping a lot. So Tatum 1 is a very good shoe, super duper lightweight, very affordable as well, not a crazy price point. But if you play on a clean court, these are gonna be great. If you play on a dusty court, you may have to wipe a lot. But regardless, the durability may be an issue. But I do think, all things considered, this is an amazing shoe, full family sizing, great for the kids, very affordable for parents, buying shoes for their kids, very good for like anyone pooping. Like this is a great looking basketball shoe as well. So I'm not hating on the Tatum one. I'm just saying the durability and the traction may be an issue, at least for me. But I really like this colorway right here. This is the home team. Next up, we have the KD16 in the Suns colorway. Very, very excited for the KD16 Suns. This is what he's been wearing this summer a lot in open runs. And what I love about this colorway is that it has a solid outsole. Not like the New York to New York, which had a translucent outsole. So I'm very excited to get this pair in. And I will be doing a separate video about like an updated performance review slash review, first impressions. So I can't wait to get this pair in and play in it. But KD16 is very good shoe. Fits a little bit snug. So if you have like a really wide foot, then I would recommend going up half size, but very good one-to-one -one fit. Very improved fit, no heel slippage. Looks really nice, looks like a penny. So I can't wait for the Suns colorway. Lastly guys, let's talk about the Zion 3. This shoe looks amazing. I don't know who's the designer at Jordan brand lately, but they've been killing it. The Tatum 1, the Luka 2s look better than the Luka 1s to me. My personal opinion again. Zion 3s are by far the best looking Zion shoe. And might be the best, one of the best looking shoes that we have in the industry. Like this shoe looks really good. The colorways look very good. I like the out the mud inspiration for these. So that's kind of the inspiration for the upper. Tech, the drop in midsole is going to be crazy. The traction looks like herringbone. That's going to be great. So this shoe, the colorways, and I can't wait for the Naruto collab. You guys know me. I can't wait for this shoe right here. Performance is going to be crazy. I feel like it will. I'm just optimistic. If it's not, it might be a letdown, but I don't think it's going to be bad because Frank Nitty has been testing these early. I think he has a deal with Jordan Brand. He said they're pretty good. So if that guy says they're good, he's a professional basketball player. So if he says they're good, these have to be good. I forgot to talk about one more and that's the Luca 2 in the Team Red colorway. This is really interesting because the Team colorways are actually coming out very, very early. They released Team colorways towards the end of the season, but now I've seen Team KD16s, I've seen Team Luca 2s, and I've seen Team Tatum 1s, and the Zoom Freak 5 Team colorways. Kind of a departure from what I've seen in the past about Team colorways. But the Luka 2 in the white and red, which is a team colorway, I did see at Dick's Sporting Goods. And they look pretty nice in hand as well. Like the materials are pretty cool. So that is the other shoe I forgot to mention. So let me know what you guys think of all of these hoop shoes right here. Again, the giveaway winner will be right here. Please DM me on Instagram so I can just ship these out to you as soon as possible. I will cover everything as well. So I'll pay for the shipping. Then I obviously pay for the shoes. But let me know what you guys think of all these hoop shoes right here. Comment, like, subscribe. It really helps me out. Follow me on all socials at DG Hoops, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.